uh, a main greenhouse area type deal with uh, crafting stations on in the corners. That's cool. That's a good use of space. It also looks very, very nicely aligned. You've done well, my apprentice. Very nice. <laughs> Howdy folks and welcome back to Scripta Place Arc Construction Adventures and I've just finished the tunnel. The tunnel itself, not the interior. <laughs> and that will still take a little bit. So let's have a quick look around. Um, you've seen all of this part, right? I've removed most of the artifacts because it was just too much. Hi. You doing fine? Everything's good? The head is sticking through the metal. If I have to do this again... I would put the pillars up like two higher, two regular pillars, not two of those four high pillars. Um, yeah, because of that. Might still not be enough for Brontos. The Diplo fits under here barely, the Spino does not, the Rex does not, so I misjudged that a little bit. Anyway, I like it, it's not too high up and I think if we put it too higher that's okay, but I'm not going to tear this all down and do it again. That will take me like a week of doing nothing but this and I just don't feel like that. Why should I, right? It's gorgeous. So I removed most of the artifacts and I've decided to uh, mix it up a little so we ha pretty much have every artifact in here to provide light. I've made sure that... I've made sure that... <laughs> Uh, the, the templates, the models for the ceilings and the floor and the, the walls, yeah, walls, windows in this case, um, have all been uh, selected correctly. And now we just walk through here and have a quick look. It's a long thing. It's a very long tunnel. Um, the railings are in. I think this, this artifact light is quite nice. It's something different. Something more glaring, but then again, this is all metal and glass, so I guess th having this neon kind of light, this little more futuristic look, fits quite well with the theme. I still love that. <laughs> having these... Uh, what are they called? I don't know, I forget. Having these on top is actually quite nice. Yep. Looking good, I like that. You can see outside everywhere. And uh, it's done. Took a while. <laughs> I just spent another like three hours to finish this. What are you doing there? Hanging out. Alright. So next thing we need to do is attach some stairs to come back down here. Probably. And then we have to encase this whole area. So we will go over here to this pillar. And enclose this area up to over here. Yeah, and then going over here. Mm, probably. We might even go through. Let's let's get a little higher here. Too many trees in the way. Also, there's a puppet master or an orc or something around here. That's yeah, that that thing. That's where the music comes from. What are you? Always mix these up. Puppet master. See, that's the one with the music. Godlings. Yeah. And uh, as seen before, we have this cave entrance over here that does spawn spiders and snakes and scorpions and yeah. Yeah, see that? <laughs> Can't have that. So that will have its own... Seriously, that will have its own gate, I believe. I have to kill that at some stage. Let's get out of the way here. And a little higher. We might move through there with the walkway. If we can do a 45 degree angle of sorts, we can move through there. It shouldn't be a big deal to do 45 degree angle. Uh, if we go down to the ground, that is, because then we can use these um, triangle-shaped foundations and just, you know, have a 45 degree angle going through here. That might actually be quite nice. So we have one side of the next biome on, on the water side and one side over here. And then we come over to this side and we can basically move back to the water if we want it. I think so. And going from here, probably we're going to skip this part. And go straight out into the water. I have no idea what Bowden plans with this base. If it's going to keep it or not. Because he already made a, a new one. Now it might be that he's keeping both. 
I don't know. We'll have to uh, discuss that. If he's keeping them, then obviously we can't use uh, the water around here. We, we don't want to incorporate Bowden Space into this whole park and make him part of an attraction. <laughs> That's not nice to do. So in that case, we'll use um, the landmass over here to do the next biome. Probably um, the desert biome? Something interesting. I mean, this is also quite high and quite deep. We could just, you know, clog it up and make it a redwood forest. That would also prevent too much view of that base. Have the tunnel, well, when we go diagonally here, have the tunnel go at that wall there and then come back to the water and then do a water biome going over there. And that is the pillar where we have that Viking longhouse that Mortuary is working on. And then we can go back over there to that side and have the mini biomes over there. Those are not very deep. These are the deepest ones. The, the most area for your buck. Right. But that's uh, just a quick overview. What we're going to do today is uh, something that has been long overdue. I think we're at what? Episode 15? 16? Something like that. And um, such... We will do a server tour. We haven't done that in a while. I'm dehydrated. That's perfect. Well, you know what? Let's go over to Bowden Space and start with that, because we're close by. Hello. Thank you. And uh, he obviously has a gate, so we go from there. You've seen our base, right? So there's nothing we need to show you. This is not a base as such. It is basically just a crafting station platform, which is all we need. We don't really need that much else. I'm probably going to move this to somewhere else. I was thinking about using one of these pillars. Well, then again, we have uh, this construct already being worked on. There have been a lot of changes around here. Mortuary has been busy, has uh, exchanged all of the um, ceilings, all of the floor, into the keep ceilings. Because they have a nicer wood texture. Sounds nice. Standard wood, huh? I think it sounds a little more hollow. Um, that's the Hellfire, I believe, so this is where the big fireplace is going to be, and yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of stuff here. That looks gorgeous. I like that. These, these planks look way better fabricated than this stuff. This is just, you know, split a log in half, slap it on the wall. Which is okay, uh, if you look at your crafting menu in, in terms of a progression tree, then yeah, after thatch comes wood, and you don't really have the tools to do much fancy things. But that shouldn't prohibit you from having a different kind of wood in the end. When, when you can do fabricated sniper rifles, you should be able to do a nice wooden floor. And that's what we got here. That's perfect. Alright, our park. Well, obviously you've seen the park extends up until over here. Creatures are happy, everybody's running around. I still need to put in some feeding troughs at strategic locations. I probably put them just inside the walkway, like in these corners here. That that corner right there. And we have another of these corners here, and obviously we have two more over here. One right there, and on the other side. Whoa, trees! Eh. <laughs> on the other side, I said, right over here. That should cover that area. Probably I don't even need to have two feeding troughs here. One should be enough. And, well, as creatures are running around, they get in and out of range so they can eat whenever they have to. That's pretty nice. Bowden space. Let's see. There's a big bridge, land connection, going from the island to over there. That's definitely a nice thing. I was thinking of using that when we um, start the water pen or when we come back from the water pen. Land, please. Thank you. That is the castle foundation. What are you? Can I get information somewhere? Oh, there. Long bridge ramp. Long bridge plane. Okay. That's something we can work with. I have to check on how they place. And if we can connect them uh, in a way that makes sense to the rest of our path. But it seems to be an easy way. And obviously they are big structures, so we don't need uh, that many, which reduces lag, right? That's good. Bowden space. I've been saying that like three or four times now. It's time we finally arrived. <laughs> so we have two structures here. We have the, well, his castle, castle type of uh, area place deal, and we have uh, the greenhouse. Hello. Tech crop plots everywhere. There should be pretty much every resource here now. He's made it uh, part of his 
episodes to actually get the material and make all the resources. Something's wrong with this picture. I'm not here. I'm hiding. All right. Yeah, crafting stations in here for most of the stuff. That's good. Uh, obviously, teleporters to get on top and get into the house. And yeah, we're not gonna use those. We're gonna walk. Yeah! There's the house. Very nice. Obviously, you know, if you watch Bowden's stuff, uh, he's a wolf guy, so that makes sense to have them here. Your stuff is damaged. Happens once in a while. These stairs actually work. I demolished mine because I always got stuck on them. Oh, that's a plant. I was thinking there was an animal stuck there. <laughs> Alright. These are um, the same castle foundations and then there's wooden floor on top. Seriously, you have a problem with stuff being damaged around here. That's interesting. Yeah. You just... What are you? Are you a normal gate? Automatic fortress gateway. No, you belong in here actually. Um, sometimes you can make some, some, or you can do some fancy stuff when you actually just have a door like, or an arch like this. You can uh, stick a structures plus gate in there or something like that. Hello, killer two. Killer what? Killing ing. Killing Jin. Killinger would have been nice. <laughs> but this, this castle mod is really, really nice. I mean, look at that window. Oh, that's a perfect panorama shot right there with the Bronto. Ah, oh, cool. Teleporters everywhere. That doesn't really fit with theme, but yeah, then again, it's on my base. It's fine. Uh, big wooden floors. I would have preferred something like stone in here because, you know, it's a, it's a big castle with big stones and there's heavy stuff on top and uh, a huge area that needs to be supported. Wood doesn't really seem to be the logical choice, but it looks good. It certainly does. All the crafting stations are here, even that huge thing, which is not that huge because it's the S Plus version. Um, the, the castle mod comes with these spiral stairs, which you have to place manually. They also don't really connect to each other as far as I've seen, so if you want to place another one on top, you have to try to place that manually. Mm, I haven't played around with them yet, don't really want to. <laughs> we might, at some stage. Ow. That is nice, we have one of these modular railings uh, in our base as well. You can go in here and say cycle railings, which extends them or shrinks them half the size, I believe. Lights everywhere, that's cool. Yeah, you can just stick them there. Sure, why not? Uh, castle ceiling, curved castle wall, and all of that. Yeah, sure, that's nice. At least you have something that gives you some curves. And up here is uh, the attic. <laughs> Hiding the top of the towers here. Roof curved full. Alright. So I guess half of that you can see from the outside. Also all the electricity is up here. How did you get here? <laughs> cool. Alright. That chandelier is awesome. Oh, I want something like that. Ooh. The only thing that need that it needs is that it swings a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, some motion. That'd be cool. Regular feeding trough. Huh. I would have thought that there would be an advanced feeding trophy, but okay. Okay. There's the Stargate, and over there was the starter hut that has now been uh, demolished. Can I? Also, that is a keep gate. This is not a keep, this is castle. So this might be put in here manually of some sort. Yeah, it, it sticks in there, you see that? So this is one of the manual placements I, uh, I spoke of earlier. This is where you can see that there's just wooden floor in this. It doesn't really match up perfectly. As you can see, there is a space here. This doesn't align with the foundations underneath. It's not quite 4 wide, it's like 4.1 or something. So it, it's hard to pull this off. But kudos for this, I like it. It really, really looks good. Definitely a place to call home. Should close that. I'm so used to the stuff closing uh, on its own. Would you not embarrass yourself? Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. No, I can. Bye, that is. Alright, let's move on. Let's see where we can go. This is not Bowden's winter base, this is Bowden's summer base. Bowden's winter base is where we just came from. Although this is pretty cold 
here. <laughs> so I don't know. Doesn't it make more sense to have it the other way around? This being the winter base? Right, where are we? Where, oh where are we? You see that area over there? That's new. That's been added to the center, well, I think a while ago. But for us, it's new because we haven't played on the center since. That's the ice pillars. Let's quickly go over there. Quickly being as fast as the Pteranodon can carry us. Come on, come on, come on. I was thinking for a while to build a base here, and I might do that when the Jurassic Park is uh, finished. Because this is nice, and uh, more than nice, it's 45 degree angles, 90 degree angles everywhere. So it shouldn't be too difficult to align stuff. So we could actually build on here. It would be so gorgeous if this just counted as floor and you could put um, smithy and all that stuff directly on here. There's metal over there, look at that. Not that we need metal, since we have resource crops, but yeah. There's water. Does this water count as water? Oh, that's water. Look at that. That's cool. Take a sip. And penguins. <laughs> cool. Very cool. So if you come from this ice palace, which is over here, under that, that pond with the iceberg. So you basically have to fly outside of the map, go down and come back in if you want to get here. Um, then you have these nice areas and there's a really, really flat area over here where you can build for ages using foundations and never have an issue with height. That is what Bowden used to build his new base. Now I just have to find it. <laughs> um, it's over here, right? Yeah, it's over here. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> uh, using the keep mod with all those lovely uh, textures, he has set out to enclose this whole area and do separate things inside. So what do we have here? Oh, look at that, a resource boss. And another resource boss. And we have plant species X all along. That's nice. Can't do that on Scorched Earth unless you port them over because you don't find the seeds over there. So you have uh, air defense or aerial defense in here. Uh, a main greenhouse area type deal with uh, crafting stations on in the corners. That's cool. That's a good use of space. It also looks very, very nicely aligned. You've done well, my apprentice. Very nice. <laughs> I like that. That's looking good. Stargate, obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we came through. Walkway on top of the walls. Uh, vaults on top here. That's an interesting design. And some more resource crops. Probably those that didn't fit. Oh, a skylight. That's cool. That's a good idea. And I guess this is random collections of stuff. I still like to have an overlay that actually would tell you what's in there, like a couple of icons. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, you have icons in your hotbar there, and obviously you have items in your inventory, or icons, not items, in your inventory, so it might just be an idea to have a couple of icons here to list what's in there. Uh, since we're using the resource pull gun, this is a very good idea. You can just go here, land here with your flying dinosaur, um, Transport, uh, transport all the stuff into one of these walls and then wherever you are in this building wherever you want to craft stuff with the resource pull gun you can extract from these walls and you don't have to worry about it. It's cool. Another nice feature is this. This is his shrine area on a balcony pedestal type thing. That's cool. I also like these stairs. Spiral stairs. Ooh. That's the uh, dark matter it is. Yeah, that makes it look nice. Also, if I would have to walk on this material, it would freak me out over time. <laughs> Alright, what else? We have these big doors, and I like these doors, or gates. Uh, these are sliding gates. No sound. That's a pity. They slide. There's flowers in there. Yeah, that's cool. It's definitely cool. Uh, double walls. Uh, you've seen me do that on Scorched Earth, so he's pretty much copied that design, which is a good design because you can hide everything you need in here. And as you can see, there is, well, halfway aligned a cable running through here with um, outlets 
in regular intervals and lights in regular intervals close to these outlets and that not only lights up the interior of the walls which of course is something you don't really need but it shines through the walls because that's how arc works and you have a very nicely lit courtyard nicely lit walls not too many shadows in here um, at least not where the walls are which create the biggest shadows and so you have a nice and well lit area at least it looks well lit even though the place here obviously doesn't have any light the surroundings have lights and that's cool also that that electricity should power all those uh, crop plots up there very very nice conveniently done I like it right next base remember this area I built here in season 2 when we were playing Anunnaki Genesis this is the exact same area I like it that somebody chose this area to build in so I can have a look what other people would do with this area it's cool now this is Game Shark's base, GS as you can see, he started out on this little plateau, you know we started in there and then came over to this plateau, a little bit. And it seems like he's tamed quite a number of creatures and put them all over here. Um, no, let's start over here. Start with the greenhouse, also put that away, it become quite annoying. That's a Pooptron, that's always good to have. A lot of different resources, yes that looks good, definitely the main crafting materials are here, electronics are here. More electronics are here. Yeah, you can double up on resources, why not? Looks good. Let's see. Yeah, some of these just grow at a very, very increased rate, and some of them just, you know, not that much. Like metal ingots, for example. Since you, you know, who needs metal ingots? That's all S. Plus. Auto closing, very nice. That's weather and loud, not so nice. It doesn't look so good. I do have enough food, so I just leave you to it. Hmm, what do we have here? A little platform feeding trough? Two of them. Interesting. One is completely empty, and the other one has only meat. No berries? That might be an oversight. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna restock that probably. If I find some berries in the greenhouse, I'm, I'm probably gonna restock that before we leave. And this is where the base is. Hello, hello, Sally. And Game Shark. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's that one spot where we never could place a foundation. He just tricked that. It's cool. Also, yeah, overlapping foundations is pretty much the same as we did. Just we did it in a more mathematical way, I guess. Have it aligned with the outside there. A lot of vaults. We have resource crops, it's kind of, I don't know, you don't really need them, right? We had the same issue here, we had our walls over there. And resource crops on top, well, that was kind of a waste to actually have them there. Crafting stations, this is where we put our crafting stations, this is where he put his crafting stations. It does make sense, obviously put a gate in here to not get Sarko attacks. Uh, there's a teleporter there. I guess this would become... Uh, his water pen as well. It just makes sense to have that there. Auto closing, but not auto opening. Very nice, very nice. Cauldron Forge, everything's here. Nice. It's not that much in a decorative way. There's no lights really, but you know, stuff is running, so I guess he's around once in a while. Or well, this is just stocked up for ages to come. <laughs> Might also be the case. But yeah, that, that's looking good. It's a very nice area. I like building here. Uh, I would do it again if I wasn't already building in the underworld. Hmm. Right, next base. Oh. Aiming? Platform? Quats? Ugh. That's a little stuck. Stop that. Let me up here. Interesting contraption. <laughs> next base. And we have arrived at Krusty Pickles Place. It's a small area. It seems like he's just really getting started here. And uh, as far as I know, he's not on that server that often. But I like what he's done so far. We have this nice pier going out into the water to a fishing and sitting area. Nice uh, hangout area. This is an auto opening door. Thank you. Uh, some crafting stations. Not really playing with all of the mods as it looks like. But the main stuff is here. Resource crops is here. Uh, advanced. Structures plus. Yeah, sure. Looking good. 
uh, fence area that doesn't really keep out creatures. Well, that's one lesson we all have to learn. Uh, attaching a water boar here? And there's water over there? I don't know. Of course you can. I just always think that this is something you resort to when you have to. And here you don't have to. But it's not my base. And I'm, I'm not going to judge. It's there. We can use it. Everybody as it pleases, right? Or she or it. It's one of the crafting stations, right? Yeah, that's a crafting cabin. Cool. So this is a nice little, not hideout, hangout place. <laughs> and I believe there was some more. Yeah, over here. That's where the creatures are stored. Uh, I guess this is more of a taming pen. Windows to shoot through. And then the major storage area over here. Alright, this is not auto-opening. Uh, hmm. Elamimus, bear... Yeah, sure. And a pickles. <laughs> cool, cool. I like it. Let's see what this uh, will look like in, I don't know, 10, 20 episodes from now. Um, if anything, or maybe even if the biggest, you never know. It, it might turn out to incorporate the whole Redwood. It, it might turn out to not be here anymore, depending on what else is happening on the server. Uh, Alright. Next base. And we've arrived at Game Sharks Redwood Forest Base. Um, the, the other base from, from Krusty is over there on the other end of the Redwood Forest. We're currently pretty much on the east end. Well, pretty much in the middle, but there's not much more to come. And Krusty was on the west end. Also, you know the two snow-covered mountains? Um, I'm pretty sure Little Eagle had a base on one of them, I think the northern one, but that seems to be completely gone. I, oops, wrong, 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 wrong thing, M, thank you. Um, I was there uh, when we started this series to get some of the resource crop seeds that I can't find it anymore. There is no bed, there is no gate, and I'm pretty sure there was both a bed and a gate, so it might just be that Little Eagle decided not to play on the server. We don't know, don't know, we'll figure that out maybe sometime. There is a landing platform here, that is very convenient. And it's a metal, that is very sturdy. I like that. I don't know, I guess it's Platforms Plus, because this seems to be very much attached to the outside. Yeah, that's the corner right there. That's the corner right here, and that's four walls in between. Yeah, that must be Platforms Plus. So we have all these protrusions... Protrusions? Thing. Um, outcroppings. With the different rooms. That's a cool concept. I... Never thought of something like this. That gives you a 4 by X room. So here it's 4 by 2 4 by 2 d Hey, you can do something like this. That's cool. I like that concept. Have a main area here in the middle. A really large open area. Um, have these... Well, project rooms, I would say. One might be a bedroom. One might be structures plus crafting. Then you can have one for resource crops crafting. All of that. And then you still have... All that on top. That looks crisscross, but yeah, that, that's how you do it. <laughs> There's no way to get on top there. Well, we can fly on top if I ever find uh, the way out again. Yeah, <laughs> Where's the platform? Where's my flyer? Where's all the things? That's the way down, so over here. Perfect. Interesting. Let's look on top. Yeah, there's nothing here at the moment. Uh, perfect location for resource crops, you know? Just put all this stuff up here. And then you would be in a shooting range with a resource pull gun down in there. Or you can uh, put vaults as storage along uh, the trunk. You know, one level down, obviously. And then, you know, just shoot those and just pull in whatever you have up here. You can do it in segments and all of that. We've done a lot of stuff with uh, platforms and resource crops in, what, Season 4? 5? Primitive Shigo Plus? I believe that's the one. And um, the one after that as well. We, we've done... Uh, yeah, pretty sure. And two of these tree house, greenhouse combinations. Always turned out quite nicely. Lovely! Pretty empty. A lot of room to do awesome stuff. I'd like to see what this will be when it's done. I already like the concept. That's cool. <laughs> right. Reminds me of the Orion, which is uh, a German spaceship, believe it or not. Look it up. It's from the 1960s. All right. 
I think we've covered everything. There's there's not much more to see. There's not that many people doing stuff on this server because it's purely meant for building. So not everybody enjoys building as much as I do. <laughs> or Boden or Mortuary. And even Mortuary with his uh, castle uh, church type build is already involved in a huge building project. So he doesn't really spend that much time building on here currently. Which which is completely understandable. You can't blame him for, th for that. It's always grinding and placing stuff and misplacing stuff and uh, you know how fast that can turn into something that's not enjoyable at all. You have to walk a fine line there. So, with this lovely picture from the Redwood, that's it for today folks. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon.